In this video, we'll talk about the definition of a linearly independent set. First of all, the words linearly independent are normally used to describe not one vector, but a set of two or more vectors. So we're looking at a set of two or more vectors. Let's say the set's name is S. And we also require that S is a finite set, so S has a finite number of elements. So let's say the number of elements in S is R, so S is a set of R vectors. And these vectors can be labeled as v sub 1, v sub 2, etc. through v sub r. Then s can be written as the set that contains these vectors. And we assume that these vectors are all vectors that belong to a vector space v. If you don't know what is a vector space, or a vector, or a set, then you should watch some of the prerequisite videos. Some of their links are provided in the description section. So here's the definition. The set S is said to be a linearly independent set. If none of the vectors in S can be expressed as a linear combination of the, the rest of the vectors. So that's the definition. And now let me give you an example of what this definition is talking about. For example, if S has three vectors, V sub 1, V sub 2, and V sub 3, then S is a linearly independent set if the following three statements are true. 1. V sub 1 is not a linear combination of V sub 2 and V sub 3. 2. V sub 2 is not a linear combination of V sub 1 and V sub 3. And 3, V sub 3 is not a linear combination of V sub 1 and V sub 2. And if any of these three statements are not, is not true, then the set S is not a linearly independent set. And if S is not linearly independent, then S is said to be linearly dependent. Let me give you an example of a linearly dependent set. Let me still use a set of three vectors as an example. If one of the vectors, let's say V sub 1, is a linear combination of the other two, let's say v sub 1 is 2 times v sub 2 plus 3 times v sub 3. If this is true, then S is not linearly independent, and therefore S is linearly dependent. So let me quickly go over the two definitions we've seen in this video. Given a finite set of two or more vectors, all the vectors belonging to the same vector space, the set is said to be a linearly independent set if none of the vectors in the set can be expressed as a linear combination of the rest of them. So in other words, all of the vectors have to be on board with an agreement that they are not going to be linear combinations of the others. And if one of the vectors votes veto and say, I'm going to be a linear combination of the rest of you, then the set is linearly dependent. OK, so these are the definitions. And we'll see more examples um, in the videos to follow.